Oh no, they didn't. But yes, they did. Spell changes. So here's a quick little note from the devs. After a careful review of spell effectiveness in battle, we've found that a number of them have been becoming far too much uh, of a determining factor in the battle outcome than desired. So they're pretty much saying that people are relying on spells or spells have too much sway in battle. And that is 100% how it has been happening. Everybody has been saying that since Bucket of Soldiers to Dumbo now to those are the new new characters, uh, new characters, <laughs> new global players saying things like that. And then the ones who are now getting uh, Blue Fairy Magic or Wand, getting that OP spell, making any other bad effects like Dumbo useless. Now that's all about to change. So you've seen how that match against Ludgate how Wand and and Splash Mountain together just we're going to get into all of that that is what this is all about and we're going to see how this goes so their intent is to make this the team strategy better and not just run by by spells and they're making this hopefully so this going to make it so spells are, are more for counterplay opportunities rather than just dictating a whole game or a whole team so let's start with splash mountain changes here we go splash mountain soak will now only reduces the available magic charge of a random ability for level one to three so and then on primary target so only on the one main target of who you're choosing random one ability and then on the final upgrades on the primary target only all abilities so i think that's that's kind of fair for what it is i think for the kind of change it is rather than like it was it was de absolutely devastating previously and it was crippling um and it it's nuts it nuts and it was it's it's pretty much as I, as I mentioned in the Dad's Pants um, showcase, is that it kind of made Dad Pants irrelevant. Why use Dad Pants when you've got a full level uh, Splash Mountain? Although now, Dad Pants will have relevance because it'll do the full team silence that now Splash Mountain can't do. So it's it, this is now balancing some of these things a little bit more so that'll be that'll be nice to see now thunder mountain boom the only thing that's cha changing here is that it, when it's effects are on the field it's no longer going to charge so th this is interesting the only time this would ever come into effect at late game is club conquest on super slow teams and i would say in early to mid game maybe new players will come up against this where games are a lot longer but what this is going to mean to do it's going to take so long to charge an initial to get it to go off first you're only ever going to use it once this is pretty much going to be a one time end of the game going to be used and that's all so it's going to stun everybody do big damage and that's all i'm not sure how i feel about that it's kind of what it was like already but now it's just use it once use it once and if one character on the other team is super slow it's going to take forever to get through that whole team to start charging up again and that's what it's about is that if if, if, if you're going against a fast team maybe you might be able to cycle through and then start charging again but by that time i'm sure things will be already over if there is a slow team there's no way you're using it again now that's 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 crazy Anyway, maybe you'll get some more use now that these other ones have been nerfed. We will have to wait and see. Now, Immortal Potion. They have changed this uh, the target of the spell with AoE damage. So, sorry, let's, let's start that again. <laughs> Change a single target spell with AoE damage. So, so, it is now you have one target and then it will damage everything else. Kind of like Splash Mountain how that's now been changed if hades is a teammate create a copy of the continuous damage on the primary target so it will double up on any continuous damage so previously you'll see in my oh, i'm gonna have to redo so many of my showcases <laughs> you'll see my continuous damage team videos i would use this with hades on the team 
to double up and copy any continuous damage on one of the targets and spread it through the team. And that was devastating. It was amazing. And now they've nerfed that. So it kind of goes in line with the other spell nerfs. But it's pretty sad to see the continuous damage team getting nerfs. So <laughs> let's jump down to the next one. And uh, also one other thing this does is Immortal Potion, for those who don't know, is kind of like the opposite of um, Wand, uh, Blue Fairy Magic. So instead of cleansing effects, it purges all effects. So you have one target, choose, purge all the effects, and then it'll damage everybody else. And then if it's got continuous damage, it'll co make a copy. So that's what that'll be doing. Now, previously it purged everybody, and now it's only going to be one target. Foul play. Changes. No longer affects taunt. Wow. Oh, that... Interesting. That's good and bad. Now, good, because it's no longer going to spread taunt between all your weak characters in your team. Bad, you can no longer remove taunt from annoying characters that you want to use this against to remove taunt so that is a massive change so it's gonna mean is, is a good for defensive characters which at end game defensive characters have hardly any love it's gonna make the incredibles team so much better now it also other than just the taunt, it only purges and copies helpful effects from the primary target and copies them to X amount of effects instead of all. So at each level, it'll say add one more, add one more target, add one more target, or um, one more of your um, copying targets. So what that's going to mean is that it's only going to copy the ones that is purging and then if Jafar's a teammate he'll automatically gain a copy of whatever's purged and then more Aladdin teammates mean increases the amount of helpful effects that get applied for your team so I, I like that how it's not just everybody it's actually giving more meaning and value to Iago although in saying that it's going to hurt a lot of people that now have this and with any of these spells anybody who has spent money spent a lot of time grinding going towards these spells and to have them nerfed is going to be very sad. So, coming to some of the big... Well, they're all pretty big. Iago, probably the foul play, probably the biggest. Well, and I'll say, I'll say this is the biggest. Now, this is the biggest. <laughs> I got there. Wand, Blue Fairy Magic, now only affects a single character. Now, we've been calling for this. I've been mentioning it in quite a few videos recently. I've been... It was being talked about on Discord plenty previously wand would cleanse your whole team full team cleanse of all bad effects and also it was only meant to give speed meter to characters who had a bad effect cleansed but it was giving speed meter to everybody so now they've also pr now properly give speed meter to fill a character if harmful effect is removed. So now it's going to work as it should have. And that's part of the reason why it was so broken as well. Was it was cleansing everything and boosting everybody's speed. So you would just keep cycling fast teams. So that's going to help the, the case. So that's a bonus. Um, now I'll, some of the, the suggestions I gave for changes to this. I said maybe it can be single target. And as you level it up. It can maybe become uh, one uh one adjacent character or two adjacent characters on leveling up, however it was going to be so down to one character only is a massive nerf as well as no, no more just always speed meter which is good that they've fixed it but it's such a half harsh nerf having no longer full team aoe which i'm glad that isn't the case but also no more speed meters well, the speed meter when it's properly used, and it should always be properly used. But, <sighs> wow. No longer applies heal over time effect as well. So you're not just going to stack yourself with heal over times and all sorts. So, massive nerf to Blue Fairy. We're going to see a massive change in all the meta now. Um, and what this does, it not only affects the top tier meta, Although you have to be super high level to get it. Now, this is going to affect so many characters. So previously, 
any characters that would just be had a lot of bad effects would end up getting to the stage that they're pretty useless because Wand was so fast charging and would just heal your full team and boost your full team speed and you'd be wrecked for running anything else. Now this happening, no more full team AoE cleanse, means that bad effect teams are actually going to potentially be viable and you can potentially run them again. And that is super exciting. I'm, I, I'm woo, excited about that. Because it's going to mean bring viability to so many characters that were low on the tier list because of what was happening. So that is massive right there. Massive. And kind of like how foul play Iago was massive as well. And that's going to change things up so much as well. Now, to an extent, the, the, the tier list isn't going to change too much because... The top tier is still going to be the top tier because of their speed and damage. But it's going to allow some of those low to mids that deal a lot of harmful effects that were just slow and gave harmful effects that just became no good. Now to actually be some good. So I'm excited to see what that brings. Um, now, peanut pummel, pummel changes. Now only blinds the primary target. That is a massive nerf. Now, there's going to be a lot of people happy about this, a lot of people sad about this, as with a lot of these buffs. Now, the people that heavily invested into Splash Mountain, Wand, uh, Peanut Pummel, any of these, or Iago, Foul Play, any of them are going to be very upset that what they've invested either money or time into is now being stripped away, and a lot of them are becoming nowhere as good as they used to be. In saying that, Peanut Pummel was far too OP in low levels and nowhere near as good in high levels. Because at low levels, mass team blind, you couldn't do anything about it. There's no wand, no auto cleanse, no way to deal with it. Now at super high level, because of wand that we've already been over the top, they'll just wipe the whole team. Wand would charge nearly double as fast. So you could use it and keep using wand and cleansing more. But the peanut pummel was so slow. Now, one thing I think needs to be changed is that peanut pummel is a slow charger. That needs to now be affected. Since it doesn't blind the full team, it may only it may damage the whole team. But only blinding one target and removing speed meter for the amount of time it takes to charge, I think. It needs to now be reworked. I think a lot of these spells, they seem to be now balancing out and becoming all quite similar. But now the problem is going to be is that there are some going to far, charge, charge faster than others. And that's going to be a problem. I think by the way things are going and the way the, the descriptions are sounding is that... they need to be balanced together like now they the descriptions have been balanced together but the speeds in which they charge need to also be balanced together so that's it for all of these current ones now one thing you'll also notice that things like wand had their speed meter fixed whereas golden hammer still doesn't this golden hammer's been untouched golden hammer the speed meter is not working currently the the rest of it the reviving and healing is working but at level 3 is meant to give a speed boost. And it just doesn't. So hopefully that's... Since they're even looking at this. means that they will be... Listen, they are listening to us. They are looking to make changes in the future. Hopefully they fix the Golden Hammer for the better. And if so, he will probably be the number one spell. So currently still a good one to invest in. The rest of them, I'd, I'd recommend now also go for spell packs don't single farm anything just go for spell packs everything's going to be a lot more balanced out now not so much one or two op ones so in saying that tower of endurance number five especially or four whatever you're stuck on is going to get a whole lot hard, harder now that you can't pin up pummel and just blind everything and just go for wins but in saying that also blue fairy magic is not going to be as good a reward for all your hard work either so it's going to be harder to get there and a little bit less rewarding. Now it's going to be better a because you're past it and you're going to get more uh, currency and you're going to have more things unlocked. That's about all. 
you're not going to have the most OP spell in the game anymore. Well, you'll have a, a cleansing spell. We'll have to see how how good it actually will be. Um, but a lot of these changes with the taking away of the AoE all effects for all of these things just means that there's going to be a whole lot more balance with actual characters and make so many more characters viable that I am excited for. Although we still have to wait for some kind of fix to the way turns are working with the speed team still being super king, being too OP and still running the show. That, that top of the meta is not going to be changed. The spells will be, but all those fast characters are still too fast and going to be lapping these other ones. So hopefully there are going to be fixes in the way that the either the turns are happening, either they make it so they have turn rounds, so each character gets put into an order of their speed when all the characters have been boom then the next order ticks over um or kind of like how pokemon uh, turn based works how no matter which characters um are attacking it's going to go in order and then they'll all have their attacks and then boom you go through and set your next attacks i think something like that could potentially work for this and that would stop all the double turns triple turns all the slow characters being lapped and then it doesn't matter if your characters are so slow so that's still something else for the future hopefully something gets done or maybe even just changing the way i don't know something needs to be done about the way the the double triple quadruple turns and at least some of these speed meter changes will fix a little bit of that for now but still hopefully more changes to come now there has been a little bit of backlash and people are being upset saying that they never want to spend on this game anymore is because now they've spent on the game uh, and they've just pretty much taken away what they've spent on. They've taken away the value that they put into this. And that being said, I completely understand that. And I, I think that is not nice. That is not great. And I do understand and how people feel they should get given some compensation and I, I don't think compensation would be a bad thing especially at least for say spell mats and things like that used for upgrading spells something the gold the, the all those little spell mat potions and things like that I think something needs to be given to people for especially the ones that invested heavily and spent a lot on some of these ones that now got heavy nerfs and now they're being left back to square one without what they wanted to pay for what they had previously so anybody at Lou if you're watching I think maybe just give a little hey here we're sorry uh, that this isn't what you asked for um, and just give a little bit of gold give a little bit of spell mats something to ease the pain uh, let me know if, if you're one of the ones who are feeling stabbed and cut deep uh, by these nerfs in the comments below and let me know what you guys would like to see and I don't want to have all sorts of unreasonable saying I want full refunds I want I I understand how a full refund or uh, things can be uh, you can want that now yes I I think there is you could potentially get paid back for that, especially if you've spent real money. In the past, when the game had got be completely changed previously, there, there have other, like there have been beta players that do feel that same exact way that they've spent how the when the game was completely different, and then all of a sudden things change. Now that change was completely more drastic than a little bit of a buff or a nerf, and this did need to be happen for the longevity of the game, as it, when everyone caught up to max, they would have you having the same problems that we saw. If you go look back at uh, a lesson in the top meta, the video that with Ludgate, how you'll see Wand in action, you'll see uh, the Splash Mountain in action, and just devastatingly fashion uh, of what was happening. Now, no one's going to enjoy that when they get locked into that stage. So this is, a, this is going to be a good thing all over for the game now. I hope they just continue to balance. And they have said they're going to continue to balance. So hopefully they get a good good amount of balancing. And I think people just want to have a little bit more clarity uh, and be told a bit more when something's going to be happening. So a little bit more uh, openness 
let people know what's happening when things are being looked at for buffs or nerfs or maybe a little bit of a leeway and say hey give them a little bit of compensation like here we're going to give you your spell mats back i think that'd be nice so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i can't wait to test out all sorts of new teams and how these are working and i do um i will be going and recording a whole bunch of how these team spells are currently working and then do a verse how they're going to work when the changes happen so let me know in the comments below what you want to see the most and we'll hopefully hopefully see you soon